Today we're going to be talking about coronavirus and its impact on the real estate market. My name is Tanya Odzak Gopold. I am a realtor with Keller Williams. I work Oakland and the greater East Bay area up here in California. And I wanted to discuss coronavirus. That's that's the biggest question that we've been getting from our buyers and sellers lately is how 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 is that going to affect the, the real estate market? So the California Association of Realtors, as well as the East Bay Associations of Realtors, have been looking at coronavirus and its impact on the real estate market. There's been a lot of discussion about it. They've been trying to figure out what kind of guidance uh, they should issue out there, you know, given that there's been a lot of other guidance that's, that's been out, um, you know, put out by the, the local governments and CDC and all that. So, uh, you know, with, with all that in mind, um, it, it's still predicted to be, in the short term, no impact to the real estate market. What we have here in the East Bay, I mean, things are still as, as, as they've been. Um, we still have very low inventory. Um, there's a great mismatch between buyers who are looking to buy a home as well as the amount of homes available for purchase. Uh, so, you know, that, that still stands and actually maybe a 25% uh, of the sellers that are out there are deciding maybe that they should hold off on putting their home on the market. So actually what that is doing is it's making an already low inventory lower. So it's just kind of increasing that, that demand for, for homes and widening that, that mismatch between you know, buyers and, and the homes available. Uh, but on top of that, I mean, where, where coronavirus really has impacted the real estate market is with um, interest rates. Interest rates have been really low. They've been historically low. They were, they were so low that everyone and their mother basically decided that they were going to refinance, which has bumped up interest rates a little bit. So they've, um, you know, the lenders and all you know, um, have been really impacted. But uh, still rates are historically low and it still makes it a great time to put one's house on the market. But that being said, um, it, it really comes down to you as so in terms of sellers um, it comes down to what your needs are and um, your situation for those that need to sell you know it, it's still a great time but you know this is a situation where uh, for us and for our sellers where we want to come and we want to talk to you and assess your situation and figure out what do you need uh, there's a lot of things that we've been doing so for, for our clients to kind of help alleviate the pressure that coronavirus is exerting. So um, the California Association of Realtors, they've put out a guidance to all realtors on how to handle the situation, you know, how do we handle open houses because that's, that's one of the biggest concerns is, you know, if I put my house on the market, there's going to be all these people coming through. Um, so what's the guidance on that? So. There are several things, and, and not to belabor it too much, but you know, basically, it's just kind of controlling that situation. The thing with coronavirus is it, it's not, there's no need to panic. There, there's a way to approach the situation logically and methodically so that things are not as, as out of hand as they, they feel. You know, the panic in, induces panic. Um, you know, I have a master's in cell developmental biology. I used to work in the medical field and I used to work in a lab. So in those environments, you know, we really want to work to control transmission of you know, sicknesses and all that. So there's always um, an awareness of, you know, germs, you know, transmission, touching one's face, that kind of thing. So there are things that we can do to make an open house, uh, to kind of slow it down and to make it a little bit more controlled. And so that um, for sellers who have their house on the market, um, you don't feel like you're coming back to a house house full of coronavirus germs like everywhere um, but again you know it's it's more about assessing your situation every home that goes on the market for sale has its own um, conditions that, that need to be addressed so that's definitely a conversation 
that we have with our clients. On the other hand, um, for buyers, um, you know, there are a lot of things that we're doing with our buyers to kind of help, again, as well, ease that pressure. So, you know, real estate is uh, a relationship business. It's all about being on the phone, talking to you, um, you know, being in constant communication, meeting your needs. So with that as well, it's um, also about assessing your, your needs and your situation. As everyone has, has uh, a different set that we need to, to work with. So, um, you know, but that being said, because of the interest rates and still being, you know, so historically low and, you know, achieving home ownership with a really low interest rate is, is, is what's making that achievable. So, so you don't necessarily want to uh, put that on hold because the interest rates are still great. Um, looking at my notes here. So the, another question is, oh, well, you know, since the coronavirus is such an issue, is this a time where I can get a you know, great deal on the house? Um, again, I, I think that it really depends on the house that, the houses that you're looking at, what your needs are, the condition, the location, all that stuff that still is going to impact uh, on, on whether or not you get a deal. Um, there are deals to be had. Always there are deals to be had, even in, in a competitive market. Not all homes see the same amount of competition. But, um, you know, really the question, you know, kind of comes down to buyers. You know, is this the right time for you to buy? Or is, you know, does your financial profile, does it work for, um, for you right now to, to buy a home? Um, you know, we, again, there's still very low inventory. Some houses are very competitive and, and, and some are not. And, um, you know, again, also, you know, competition varies between the price point of the house that you're looking at or uh, where, where you're shopping. So, um, essentially, it's still a great time to buy and sell. Uh, even though inventory is low right now, if, you know, there truly is about, you know, 25% of sellers waiting to put their house on the market. Uh, you know, I think it would be reasonable to expect that there is still inventory coming and possibly a bit of an uptick in that inventory um, in the upcoming months. But, you know, right now predicting kind of the, the longer term is, is a bit harder because we don't really know where this coronavirus is, is all going to go. But at the same time, it is not a time to panic. It is if you need to sell, it is not necessarily a time to wait but it is a time for conversation thought strategy and really discussing what you need and what you're looking to get out of the situation so if you want to talk about selling your house or buying in this market again I work at Oakland and the Greater East Bay and uh, we love to sit down and talk to you more about what we can do for you